right now the silver price is not reflecting on what the demand price and what people are willing to pay so what's the best silver to buy to add more weight to your stack stay right there i got a new intro i want to show you too i'll be right back <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Once again, my name is Silver Bridges, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about what is the best silver to buy right now in April 2020. So as you all know, the silver price, the spot price is very low, but the demand is extremely high and not a lot of places are carrying silver. But I have been doing some research and some looking and some bullion dealers are starting to get product in. That's a good sign. That is excellent. That is what we want to see. We want to see those guys get stocked up because once they get stocked up, that means the prices are going to start to come down just a little bit. It may take a little while, but they, I really do believe that they're going to start coming down because their prices are starting to reflect that. Except for one site. One site's a little too high always. And I'm pretty sure you guys know who that site is. But they are fast to ship it. I'll give them that. But anyway... What's the best silver to buy? Well, it just depends really on what you prefer to stack. But at this point, you know what I mean? Say you prefer your Eagles uh, or, or your Sovereign Nation coins. Say that's what you prefer to stack the most. That's what I prefer to stack the most is, is my Sovereign Bullion, like Eagles, Britannias, Maples, things like that. I prefer to stack that and put that in my perma stack. Keep it forever. Never let go of that stuff. Now, things that I don't mind moving, things that I don't mind getting rid of, I like to buy on the cheap. The cheap, cheap, cheap. The cheapest silver that I can get. And right now, the cheapest silver that you can get, by far, is junk silver and silver bars. Not the one-ounce bars, not the five-ounce bars, but the 10-ounce bars, the 50-ounce bars, and the 100-ounce bar, bars. If you can stomach the cost on those, they are the best thing to buy. They really are. The premiums are not too bad on those. So you can add a lot of weight to your stack that way by picking up those items if you can find them. <laughs> That's the key is finding them. But guys, don't fear. Don't panic. There is places out there where you can buy from. And there's ways to buy safely. Now, a lot of people don't know about it, but Facebook, yes, Facebook. They have a whole bunch of silver and gold groups on Facebook. Now, my suggestion is you join that Facebook group and you just look at all the posts and you just hang out and see the transactions. And people actually do mail calls whenever they're buying stuff. They'll actually post what they bought and then they'll tell you who the seller is that who they bought it from. It's kind of like a vindication a verification, if you will. And I know some other stackers on YouTube who are using the same channels that I have. And I'm not going to give you the names you, because I'm in there. So I want you guys to go out and look for them. But there's there's Silver Eagle um, pages. There's you know just gold and silver pages. There's just silver pages. And if you are worried about buying from them, there are actual coin dealers who own coin stores that are in those Facebook pages. And they are very reputable. And if you always feel uh, apprehensive, you can always use PayPal goods and services. That way you are backed and guaranteed 100% by PayPal. So that's another way to do it. There's just an extra 3% charge on top of that, but it's another way to do it. It's another way to go about it. So if you are in the market looking for specific items, guys, you really need to explore that option. And I know a lot of people on, on who watch YouTube, they don't have other social media pages. And I understand that. It's, I really don't spend a whole lot of time on there myself, but it really is a good source. And there's also Instagram. There's a ton of good sellers on Instagram, and I follow quite a bit of them. So if you want to give me a follow on Instagram, Go ahead and look me up at silver underscore britches underscore and just look through the people that I follow and you will see the good sellers that I follow. 
those guys are people that I've bought from and that I like and I will buy from again. Okay, so what's the best silver to buy right now? For me, guys, it's 100%, 100% junk silver, 100%. It is the cheapest by far to get junk silver. And the cool thing about it is, is if you go to your LCS and pick it out, you can pick out some gems. But what if you don't plan on getting rid of your silver? What if you don't care about the prices of silver? Well, that's fine. Pick you up some cool little pieces. Pick you up some silver bars. You know what I mean? Pick you up some things like that. Now, your silver eagles, normally, I say stack as many as you can stack. You know, back up the truck, grab them. And you know why now? Because those jokers are going for $22 to $26 an ounce. So that's why I say stack those, man. Because they hold their value. You know what I mean? These are my perma stack. I'm going to keep these forever. And I don't plan on getting rid of them. Because this is part of my retirement fund, believe it or not. I believe in stacking silver. And I also believe in flipping some silver. I don't see anything wrong with doing both. And if I can buy silver on the cheap, like this stuff right here, and actually add more of this stuff right here, I don't see a problem with it. Now, I got killed in the comments on my last video talking about selling your silver, taking some profits, and adding to your stack. And, and that's fine. That's cool. You know, I get it. A lot of people, they don't want to ever sell and that's fine. But me, I'm not personally attached to this stuff. I don't mind if it leaves and I add things that I actually want. That's the whole point for me is I'm having a good time. I enjoy buying. And if I can add ounces to my stack by buying cheap stuff and selling it whenever the demand is high, that way I can add more ounces to my stack. I don't see a problem with doing that. And a lot of people didn't understand that. So I'm just trying to clarify that a little bit more. See if that helps a little bit. Or I don't mind selling this stuff cheap and then turning it into gold. Because who wouldn't want to turn this stuff into some gold if you had the opportunity? That's just my two cents. Uh, another good, like I said, another great option, guys, is your bars. Uh, your 10 ounce bars, uh, they, you know, they're starting to show up quite a bit now. I'm starting to see those quite a bit. If, Like I said, if you're not on those Facebook groups, guys, you really need to get on there and check them out because I'm seeing a ton of bars and I'm seeing a bunch of Silver Eagles. There is a whole page with thousands of people that are dedicated just to selling Silver Eagles on that page. And I'm talking about proofs. I'm talking about BUs and the Burnish Business Strike uh, Silver Eagles. So even in the slabs. So they're all out there. You just got to go and look for them. And that's my advice for you today, guys. I hope you like it. Remember, be careful, be courteous, and keep grinding on your stack.